but hello and welcome back in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get these curls while using what I call the spin dropout method if you'd like to see how I made these curls and what that method is just stay tuned <laughs> These are the curls I am referring to. How when you're curling the hair, you spin and you drop the section out. I by no means made up this method per se. I have been doing it for a while and it's become really popular as it is. So as you see here, I just clamp it down slowly and I spin, spin one more time. And then when I spin it up, I before I spin again, I am going to drop that first section out. And you see at the top there, it tightens that curl even more. And you spin it out again and just keep doing it for however length the hair is and then when you're done you slide the curling out of the ends now the reason for the dropping out what i find is when you drop out the curls and then you tighten them so after you drop the curl and iron out right here you see how you're still twisting that hair that's not in the curl and iron anymore it kind of compacts the curl so it's not big and poofy i want it to be more condensed with a lot of texture I am using a one inch curling iron. Now granted, you might think, well, would it, why don't you just use a smaller curling iron if you want a smaller curl? Well, then you're just getting more of a spirally smaller, smaller curl. I, with a one inch curling iron, I can make bigger curls or I can make smaller curls. It's all in how you spin the curl, how the section, the size section you take. Now today with her, I'm spinning each curl away from the face and meeting in the middle in every section. You could also change it up and alternate the direction of your curl to make it, give it a different look. Um, I always do turn the curl away from the face that's around the face. It just, I don't know, it bothers me when there's like hair flipped into the face, probably because I don't like hair in my face, so I just always uh, make sure that it's turned away and then just alternate each section that way. Just play around with it. And then you could also make it more beachy or straight at the ends by not spinning it that last spin that I do and just drop it out sooner. I will do a tutorial on this that's not a voiceover. That's a, me talking as I do it and explaining. So it'll be a little bit better. But at this time, there was other people at the salon, so I didn't want to do that. She would have been the perfect person to do that on. However, somebody did request that I do a curl tutorial with these type of curls because they weren't quite sure how I was doing it. So I thought this would be the fastest way just to get one out there now to you guys. And then I can do a non-voiceover video. She is in other tutorials that I have, other coloring tutorials, and I will post those in the description below so you can go right directly to those if you'd like to see them. But just go ahead and watch how I repeat these curls, and when I get to the end here in a minute or so, I will show you how I finish her hair. So the secret to shiny curls is adding some type of oil. I am using the exquisite oil from Biolage and I put it all throughout my, rub it in like almost like lotion because I want it in the front of my fingers, between the fingers, on my hand and then I just go it through and run it through her hair. That way it just is nice and shiny and curls need hydration and it helps with static and all that stuff that nobody wants. Plus, who doesn't love somebody playing with their hair for a minute? I know my clients love it. And she's a hard worker, so she's not going to complain. To finish, all I'm doing is adding the Triple Dry 15 from Redken Spray. It's perfect because it has just enough hold in it and it adds some texture to her hair without making it hard or sticky. And it's livable for a few days because she does like to go for a few days without washing. Now this is the end result and I would like to thank you for watching and hope you learned something new. If there's other, I know I do a lot of coloring and if there's a request for that, go ahead and comment below. But if there's also requests for 
type of type of styling videos that you would like to see i would like to start doing more of those so comment below with any requests that you may have but if you have not subscribed please consider doing so that way you could keep coming back and learning more and if you like this video give it a thumbs up so i can keep doing it and i'll be back soon bye